This tutorial is designed to show you how to create a safe assignment using Blackboard 9. What we'll do is we'll create a safe assignment, then we'll do a student submission, and then I'll show you how to grade these from the gradebook. So what we need to do is go into one of our courses that we'd like to create a safe assignment in, and we need to go under a content area like assignments, and then you'll notice there's this create assessment area. And we pass over it and down here there should be safe assignment. We're going to click on that. Now we need to give this a title. So if I call it paper 1, we need to give it a total number of points. So I'll say 100. Now I think in the instructions you should tell students this, that this is going to be checked for plagiarism, um, what the guidelines, what's acceptable, because quotes will come back as plagiarized material. And then what we need to do is if we have a deadline, we can put the display and tell and put the time in. I'm going to leave these blank right now. If we click draft here, what it will do is it won't check it against the institutional database. It'll just check it up against the web and other of Blackboard's resources. If you need to create a final draft, you, won't, you could click this for draft, and then you could create a second save assignment without this clicked for the final draft. And then I'm going to just hit submit. I'm not going to create an assignment or an announcement. Now you'll see this is what it looks like from your perspective. Now I'm going to pause this video and go in as a student to show you how to submit this. Now I'm in this Blackboard course as a student and I'm going to click on assignments because that's where it's at. And you'll see this paper one and a student just has to click view complete. Now it really is a good idea to encourage students to use um, Firefox when doing this. Um, the latest version of Firefox doesn't seem to have any problems. I've had, had some problems uploading with other browsers. Um, notice down here it tells you what are acceptable file names, docs through HTML. So you want to make sure you remind students of that. They can click browse and find a paper to submit. Now if they click this agree button it goes through a global reference database. They don't have to click this. All they have to do is hit submit. Now after they submit it, when they click on this view complete, they'll actually see um, the save assignment report right here. And um, it hasn't gone through, so they can't see it. But we're, I'm going to go back in as an instructor and show you what it looks like on the grading end. All right, so I'm back in as an instructor, and we created this assignment, this save assignment under assignments. Now in order to get the papers that are submitted by students, I'm going to go to the grade center. And you'll notice that under this grade center, there's an exclamation point, and that means that a student has submitted a paper here. Now, if I drop down here and go to attempt, um, if you get a blank just like we saw before, you know the paper hasn't been um, checked yet. Uh, if, if obviously this one has, it's got a safe assignment report. And so I'm going to click right here to see the safe assignment report. And you'll see that this paper has been plagiarized, and I did. I took this, these words right from Wikipedia. And you can, if there's a source on here that you are allowing, you can click it and you can click reprocess and then it has to take a little bit of time to reprocess without that source. Um, but when you're done with that, all you have to do is close that out and you can give the student the grade they want, and they, or not that they want, that they deserve, a zero here in this case for plagiarized material. And um, you could put any comments that you want here. You could attach a file back to them also. Um, and then you just hit submit. And then their grade will appear. Okay, if you that was the only submission I had. So if I go back into the grade center, um, they will have a grade in that spot. Okay, a zero. So that's the tutorial on creating a safe assignment in Blackboard 9. Thanks for watching.